Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Um, I don't they, want to hear it early. So. They, they lost quite a bit um, on that side of the ball. Is it basically the same defense, though, with just different guys? Yeah, I mean, their defense coordinator stayed there, so yeah. um, they're still going to run their same thing, um, give us the same fits, I think, that they gave us last year. I'm sure they'll have a couple wrinkles for us, um, just like we'll probably have for them. So um, preparing the same, kind of like last year. I know, you know, they were very veteran last year, and they were really good defense, so... Um, but, you know, when you get a veteran defense like that, you have young guys who look up to those guys. And I'm sure um, over there, they've been preaching the whole time, like, you got to be ready for your chance. So, um, you know, Saturday will be able those guys' moment. What are some of the challenges with the three-man front? Uh, some of the challenges, you know, um, Iowa State, they certainly like to play a lot of two-gap stuff. Um, so some of our, you know, our guards, been we've been trying to get together on these plays and um, just working together as much as we can, you know, because if – the three down front, they're trying to get you spread out and into man blocks and stuff. So the biggest thing for us has been trying to play together and, you know, block these guys the same every play, even though they show you a bunch of different stuff, um, just being more physical. How much is the continuity and chemistry take some time? You guys have had injuries on the offensive line, zone blocking scheme, you know, you need to kind of be on the same page. Is How much did you see that on Saturday, maybe being off a little bit? And how much progress can you guys make in that area? Yeah, you know, um, Saturday we had a lot of young guys out there. I think that was the biggest takeaway was, you know, we had three or four guys playing uh, their first game reps for the first time and other guys, you know, moving in different positions. So it certainly was going to be a little bit different compared to um, last year, I think, obviously. So, uh, you know, my takeaway from that was just we got, we got to play more together as a unit and understand that, you know, just because the lights are on or there's a different, you know, colored jersey across from us, that doesn't mean, you know, we fall apart or do something different or try to be Superman out there. So um, I know myself and uh, some of the older guys in offensive line certainly try to help the young guys, you know, and, and they understand now, you know, what it takes to win a game. So that's that's the best thing we took from Saturday. A lot of people talk about the week one, week two jump. I mean, how beneficial is it for you guys just to play against different people instead of just playing against your own defense from time and time again? Yeah, um, you know, it, it's really fun in general. Um, I think. You know, the, the week one to week two difference. Week one, you come out there. I mean, I think we were a little bit over anxious, like, okay, we're going against someone different. Um, now we know what to expect. You know, they're going to come out ready to go, um, especially Iowa State. You know, it's, it's a big opponent. It's one of the rivalries. It's battle of the Cyhawk Trophy and everything. So, um, you know, that improvement's made by just being on the practice field and doing the same things you do every week, just like we did in camp, you know. And then when it comes to Saturday, fall back on what you practice. Do you guys, obviously, there's noise from the outside and, and the performance on Saturday. Um, what do you guys see when you look at film and, and obviously what's out here and what goes on in the building might be two different things. How close are you guys to, 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 to playing better? Yes, sir. Uh, I think the biggest thing, you know, like I was saying earlier, was just uh, everybody doing their 111th, you know. Um, no one's out there trying to be Superman or um, do something outside of the, you know, our fundamentals and our rules that we follow as an offense. Because um, when one guy's off on the same page on offense, I think, you know, it's pretty hard to execute a play the way we want to. Um, so I think that's just kind of the biggest thing we've taken away. Did you guys feel close? Did it feel like a few minor mistakes here and there from, from, from things happening better? Yeah, I think we were pretty close. I think the biggest thing was just getting started early. Um, you know, if you fall off early, you're kind of thinking about that. And you, you might, you know, fall back and be like, oh, you know, a little step back from the water and everything versus just jumping right in. You know, understanding it's a game, it's, it's ups and downs, it's ebbs and flows and everything. Um, I got to ask you about the other side of the football because those guys, those guys are pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, what did you get? Did you guys buy them an extra, extra burger that night? Or obviously, yeah, when things are struggling on the offensive side, you gotta love to see what, you, what those guys do with the offensive side of the football. Yes, sir. Um, you know, I really appreciate those guys. You know, every, and you know, it's it's nothing new to me, honestly. Um, I think those guys every day because they're still here and they're working. I mean, they work hard. You know, Coach Parker, Coach Walls, um, Coach Bell, they all run a, a really great side of the football over there. And we know what to expect from those guys each week. I think, you know, as an offense, we're not we're not going to go over there and, you know, thank them for doing their job because that's what they're supposed to do, right? Um, you know, maybe maybe on Saturday I thanked a couple extra guys just because, you know, it was, it was a little more appreciative. And, you know, they worked really hard and, you know, covered us a little bit. So um, whatever it takes to win, I know those guys are ready for it. So that's the best part about, you know, being a team out there. Thanks, Thank you. You might have been asked this already, but Kirk Ferentz said that this film session for the offensive line was going to be a great learning experience with so many new players. Mm -hmm. um, is there a certain type of feeling going into to film where you know it might be kind of like one of those tough days, learning days, versus when you play really well and you might get a lot more kudos? Uh, I, you know, I think I take the same approach either way. Um, you got to try to be as stoic as you can in, in a lot of these film sessions because, you know, 
not every one of them is going to be, you know, highs, watching touchdowns, watching crazy catches, watching uh, put down blocks and stuff. So I think if you take the same approach to every one of them, you get you get the same learning experience from each one. And it's not, you know, being high, being low, um, just trying to be as steady as we can while we're slowly developing as an offensive line unit. You know, like Coach said, it was a great film session, you know, but you, you got to really love the bad ones because those are the ones we're going to learn the most. Um, and the good ones you got you got to love just as, just as much because um, you, got, you just got to be able to enjoy it, I think. All right. What were some of those big takeaways, uh, maybe for yourself personally, just the, the group after watching it? Yeah, I think as a group, uh, we definitely could have played better. We left some stuff out there on the field. Um, and, I, and I'm really excited to see how a lot of guys respond because that's what good players really do. Um, the first game of the year is always always really tough, and that's but that's no excuse for the way we played on Saturday. Um, however, you know, the biggest takeaway for me was we got to play more together. Um, can't have four guys doing the right thing and then one guy kind of offer anything. So that's just the biggest the biggest takeaway for me. Um, pass plays, run plays, whatever it is, we all got to play together, play tough, play physical.